All right, welcome to VideoMark. Today I'm gonna show you how to create this title animation from the new NBA Youngboy Valuable Pain official video title animation. Man, that's a mouthful. <laughs> um, when, when you look at it, when you know After Effects, it's actually pretty simple to do. Um, it's actually just a bunch of pre-made effects. And uh, let's not waste any time. Let's dive right into After Effects. So we're here in After Effects. And this is the final result, and it looks actually pretty much like uh, in the video. So um, let's get into the new comp. So here is an empty comp. Let's grab the text tool and um, drag a box. And then let's choose the font impact. Um, it's almost the same font as in the video. It's not exactly the same, but um, almost the same font. It's very likely that you have it in your computer as well. So. Young um, boy never broke again. And uh, that is our first line. And the second line, let's do that right away. Let's just duplicate, select the text layer, control D, um, hit V to move it, and then just edit and then say, what was it? Valuable pain and then select and then increase the size until it fills the whole canvas like so. And that's basically it. That's our starting point. Okay. So let's move this around a little bit. So it's just centered in the, on the canvas. And that's uh, what we have now. And if you haven't already just uh, hit center text in the paragraph. So it's just uh, when you change the text, because you will be getting this as a, Premiere Pro template as well as a MapMoGraph template. If you know this channel, everything I'm creating, I'm trying to provide as an editable, well, you're getting the source file anyway, but as an editable template. Okay, so first things first, let's um, hide this one. So the first step is go to effects and then go search for um, decoder. Decoder fade in, double click this, and then, blah, 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 blah. and as you can see, it's exactly it's looking exactly like in uh, in the video, okay? So this is step one. And then two seconds into the video, this comes in and uh, for that, we will be looking for wipe into center. Wipe, oh uh, no, wipe two. Hang on, what is it? Wipe into, wipe to, wipe into center. Here it is. And this one also, default values and as you can see the before it's like it's not really invisible it's it's that's actually how it is in the video actually <laughs> it's when you look at the video um there is a point where you can see the first and the last letter i would actually want to avoid that so it's two seconds in and then we select the layer Control shift d and then we're getting rid of um this ghost letters so to say so that's what we have now. And all that's left now, it's actually this color, this flickering color strokes. And that's also pretty simple. Around three and a half seconds when this animation is over, it should start flickering. So select the layer, control shift, they split it. Why am I doing that? I could put that on one layer, but I wanna keep things on uh, separate layers. You don't have to do that, but that's the way I do it. And um, so I really know where to find single effects. So that with this layer selected, go to uh, the effects panel again, and then search for wiggle. And we're looking for a certain effect. Uh, no, search for stroke. Hang on a second. Stroke, wiggly stroke width. Double click that. And you already see that this, there's, it starts looking like in the, in the music video. And, um, we're going to have to change a few things, a few settings here. So get into the layer and go to a base stroke and then, um, go to stroke color and change the color. So hit the color picker and then just change it to red. Okay. And then we got that. And in animator two, just add a color property stroke color, RGB, and this one should be triple F 600. I did that before I tested it. So it looks something like in the video. And then 
there's one more thing that, that you need to do in the wiggly selector. Go to the wiggly selector and change the wiggle seconds, wiggles per second to 10 and lock dimensions to on because when you look at it now, it's random. But in the video, when you take a closer look, when the strokes, these strokes, when they're the biggest, they're yellow. And when they start growing, they're red. So um, you need to turn lock dimensions on. And now when they grow, they're yellow. And when they start growing, they're um, the base color. And then one last thing, as you've seen, as you can see, it's not filling uh, the letters. So um, go to more options and then at uh, on fill and stroke, go to all strokes over all fills. And there you go. This is exactly what you have in the video. And now we want to play with um, the stroke width and the stroke width is um, around 35, not too big. And now, um, it's exactly like in the video. Um, do the same thing for valuable pain again. This second line. So again, control shift D. Again, you don't have to do that, but that's, um, how I do it. And then the same thing here. Go into the base stroke, change this color to, I did that before. It's, um, 55 ED double F. That's the first color. And then in the animator, add property stroke color RGB. Boom. And here add another color 3 E 7 uh, 9 C 2. Okay. That looks almost like in the video. I tested that before. And now when we do a RAM preview, you've got your title animation exactly like in the video. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, when you know the video, here, um, when the second color flickering starts, um, the first line actually stops animating. So we want to split that, Control-Shift-D, and then delete. Or the uh, Shift-Closing, Alt-Closing bracket. Um, and there you go. Mm, let's see. Oh, we forgot to change the wiggle speed here to 10. And uh, turn on lock dimensions. The stroke width also should be 35, but now it's actually the final thing. Then close this and now do a final ramp preview. And here you go. Okay, pretty simple. As you can see, uh, hang on a second. We want to extend the first layer here, so it's actually still visible, but not animating. But promise, this is now the last <laughs> RAM preview, okay? So here you go. That's exactly like in the music video. And here comes the fun part, because now you will be getting, of course, I'm giving you this uh, source file. But um, if you're editing with Adobe Premiere Pro, you don't even need the source file because when we go to uh, Window, Essential Graphics, and uh, let's go to, I did that with the Comp 1, but let's just to demonstrate, do it with uh, Comp 2 again. We want to bring in uh, the source text value into the Essential Graphics panel so you can actually change that in Premiere Pro and it will change in real time and you have your own um, title animation that looks exactly like in the video. So what are we going to do? Um, let's go to the text. Let's go to the source text and drag it into the central graphics panel. Then you can see already source text. Let's call this line one, line one. And um, since we have two of these layers, we want the first one actually to be connected to this one. So when you change something here, um, the second one will change automatically. And do the same thing here. Take this source text, drag it in here, call it line two, and drag the first one. Again, if you put everything on one layer, it's not necessary, 
But since we split the layers, we want to, we have to make sure that um, these are connected. Boom. And now watch what happens. When we change the values here, you know what, let me th demonstrate that in Premiere Pro so you can actually see how to use that over there. Okay, now we're here in Premiere Pro, and as you can see, same thing. And when you bring in that motion graphics template, if you don't know how to do that here, lower right corner, hit that, and then it will show up in your library, and then just drag it into, just drag it into um, your project. And here it is. Give it a second. There it is. And under edit, you see your um, text boxes are showing up that you just brought into the central graphics panel in After Effects. And now watch what happens. Um, I don't know. Uh, can please consider subscribing. Please, I'm a desperate YouTuber. Uh, mark, uh, all right. Boom. There you go. And now when you animate this, uh, render this. Boom. There you go. This is your animation, exactly like in the music video from NBA Youngboy. Valuable pain, the official video, but with your own text. Isn't that nice? So as you've seen, pretty simple. Um, if you know how to use After Effects and export that to Premiere Pro, if you, again, if you use Premiere Pro, you don't have to, you don't even have to deal with After Effects. You only have to have this font installed, its impact. It's very likely that you have it. It's a very common font. Then you can edit the text uh, to your liking and it's your own version of the title animation of the NBA Young Boy Valuable Pain official video title animation. <sighs> okay, you know what I mean. Hope it was uh, helpful, hope you learned something. Uh, please consider subscribing as it says in my text here. Hit the bell not to miss any future title animations and free downloads and free presets and free everything on this channel. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.